Isaac after your spectacular entrance onto the super bantamweight scene and winning the world title last year. What happened against Emmanuel Navarrete? Well, you know, last year was a great year for us. And um, like I've always said, we give the first place in the Almighty God, you know, for granting us all those victories. Um, we started a year of you know, in a spectacular manner. Unfortunately, we had to we had uh, we had to stumble along the uh, along the road. So I mean, we are looking forward to 2019. I'm looking for a big comeback against Manon Navarrete. Oh, you signed a rematch with him? Well, the team is talking, and um, after the end of this week, we'll know exactly what's happening. What are you hoping to do differently from what you did the last time? Well, you know, a lot. Um, a lot of things that we put into consideration. Um, most important thing is, uh, you know, my weight. In the last fight, I struggled a little bit. I, you know, I struggled uh, making the 122 pounds. Um, so this trip, the team has sat down and said, "Hey, look, you have to bring in, um, you have to bring in nutritionist, you know, for him to uh, take over, so that we see how the way." I'm looking forward to having a few fights at 122 division and then God willing moving up to a further 126. You come from a country, Ghana, who traditionally have, have had some great boxers over the years. Azuma Nelson being one of them, I quote it being another. How does that make you feel? Look, it's great. And um, these are legends, you know, Azuma Nelson in particular. These people their shoes is too, is too large to, to be filled at, just at the moment. All I have to do is just keep working hard, keep praying, and um, just keep doing what, what I do, you know, keep winning. And God willing, um, you know, things will, be, things will be great. Because it just it takes time, everything is just a step at a time, you know, one part at a time, so it's really important. Faith seems to play a big part in your day-to-day -to -day life. Can you please share, share some of it with us? Why is it so important? Because we say that God has given us a never-ending, you know, excellence that through hope we shall overcome anything. With your faith, you know, you can move mountains. So that's what that's what motivates us. You know, and um, through it all, if you don't have faith, you can. When you go down, you man, you may you, you may not be able to get back up. But if you have faith, you'll be able to get. You go down. You know that. It, you are bound to go down. You can fall at any time. And the most important thing is you rise up. And that's what we're looking for today, 2019 and onwards. Your dad is always by your side. What part does your dad play in your career? Every part. You know, he's the reason why I am where I am today. You know, he's he's the one that had the vision. He's the one of the vision. And then he's the one that has molded me into the man that I am today. And I can only thank God for his life. And also always say thank you to him, you know, for, for the vision he had and for always guiding me uh, to success. Outside of the boxers who I've already mentioned in Ghana, who else, you know, has motivated you or, you know, did you, do you like? I like all of them. All of the above. You know, there are a lot of talents in Ghana right now. It's just a matter of time that um, they also they also get to have a structured um, um, management. You know, I believe that in the near future, you see people will be hearing a lot more about Ghanaian fighters. Let's talk about outside of Ghana. I'm talking about in the world. Which boxers from past did do you like, or did you look up to any boxer then, outside of the ones in Ghana? You, you know the, the great Muhammad Ali, Sir Henry Cooper, they call him, they call him um, Henry's Hammer, you know, with his um, terrific left hook. People say, people, people, people sometimes try to, um, you know, say that I've got a left hook like him. But look, you have the likes of um, Roberto Duran and all these great fighters. Um, look, Kazaki, um, uh, look, there's so many. You know, it's always important to learn a lot, you know, to learn from all these other fighters. That's what makes, that's what broadens your, broadens your mind and your, you know, and the art. You know, so that you can be able to adapt to any situation, any fighting style that they, they go for. When Isaac Dobre is not fighting, what do you do to relax or chill? 
Um, I spent most time at home with my family um, because I'm always on the road. So whenever I come down, I try to spend a lot of time with my, my, with my little brothers as much as possible before I hit on the road again. So assuming you go on to beat Imano Navarrete in the rematch, what else do you hope to achieve this year? Well, God willing, when I do beat Navarrete and take the title back, um, we're looking forward to doing doing the unification. If the unification doesn't happen, we we'll move up to February 126. Which of course is the way that Azuma Nelson distinguished himself. Definitely. So as you know, they say that someone has to take, someone has to carry you know the the baton to one point, then the next has to take it to the to, um, take it further. So we're looking forward to um, you know taking the baton from where Azuma Nelson, the great Azuma Nelson, left off, uh, and we also taking it to different heights. Thank you very much for your time.